Hey everybody, this is Ben, and welcome back to HackNet, the awesome hacker simulator game that has just really got its claws into me. This is so awesome. And you're going to notice a couple of differences from last time. Number one, uh, the screen resolution. I am trying out uh, going with a you know different resolution because obviously there's... Oh, this is almost exclusively text, and I'm trying to get to be a little bit more legible for, you know, smaller video sizes or screen sizes. So uh, hopefully this is better. If you had, you know, any any problems reading in the earlier episodes, I apologize. Uh, secondly, thing that's going to be different is I am going to, I got the music volume turned almost all the way off, which is a shame because it's really great music and I really, really like it. Um, but... I, I'm getting some, you know, weird claim stuff on the video because of the music in the episodes. So I'm just gonna, just gonna kind of like back away from that. Just cut that down to to almost nothing. Hopefully that'll be uh, enough that I'm I'm not getting claims on it if it's not even really audible. Um. So the last time I messed around a whole bunch. Um. Yeah. This text is really busting out of the, the interface now but hopefully this this works um i was all over the place i checked out all the entropy servers so now um oh my gosh all right maybe i need to change that uh that text size yeah that's that's better that's better okay yeah that's that stuff at least fits now <laughs> oh this is even uh anyway i'm gonna try it out i'm trying it out we're gonna see how this goes so, uh, we once we're uh, once I'm geared up, reply to this dress, and I'll arrange a true test your ability. So I'm I'm ready. I'm all geared up. I'm gonna reply. Bam, got my email back. All right, regarding welcome, Ben. Well, excellent. I'd like to be the first to formally invite you to begin accepting entropy contracts. Cool. Attached is the location of the group's secure contract database, along with login credentials necessary to access it feel free to accept and complete initial contracts at your leisure i'll be in contact again to gauge your progress soon Text. all right entropy contract database very nice bam it's getting crowded in there can i wish i could move these around or something just all right whatever uh so user benmo pass rosebud sure Let's do that. All right, great. Let's check out the contract database. Um, can I probe it first of all? All right, cool. <laughs> Need four, got a proxy, firewall, and everything's locked down, of course. All right, nice, nice. Um, can I log in? Login is successful. Great, complete. View file system. Oh, okay, so I am like in. Apparently... <laughs> Insufficient privileges. Okay, so I'm not an administrator. What do we got here? Oh, more IRC logs. Oh, I can't even read those. Seriously? FTP bounce. They got that FTP bounces everywhere, man. Insufficient privileges. All right, let's go back to view logs. Can I? Yeah, I can't view those anyway. All right, uh, contract listings. Okay, uh, log in. Oh, Benwo Rosebud. There we go. Okay. Ah, uh, let's see here. Microsoft Apple Enterprises. Stop the harvest. Point clicker. Well, let's just start at the top, I suppose. Point clicker. A well-meaning client needs some of his data from a game server deleted to regain productivity. Sure. All right. Oh, I accept it. Okay, and I got an email. Cool. Entropy mailbot. Point clicker. Greetings, civilian. <laughs> what, you in the military or something? I've been put in a dire predicament here. Unfortunately, no one my incompetent office of staff is capable of fixing this issue for me. This has forced my hand to resort to outside help as distasteful as that is to me. Informants have assured me this line is secure, so I'll be brief. I have bested the game point clicker and wish to prove my clear dominance over it again. Yet there is not re there is not reset button. There is not? There is not button? I'll need you to enter their server and delete my save file so that I can I may crush it once more. My username is Mengsk. Feel free to bask in the glory of my current achievement before resetting. Nice. So, point point clicker. Boop. 
and note contact handle. Oh, Men Mengsk. No, I'm not gonna, seriously, I'm not gonna allocate 73 megabytes to the word Mengsk. Thanks. That's, oh my God. I need a, I need a new text, text editor here. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, okay, so dismissed M. All right, go. Cool. Let's go. Point clicker. Uh, go. Whoa! What the? Cost upgrade eight. Oh, okay. That just happened to me where my cursor was. I was like, "What's going on? Do I have stuff already?" Okay, click me. Points. Okay, wow, that's friggin' slow. What is this number? Cost is 12. So I can get that now, right? Is this just going by itself? Because... Oh, okay, this is increasing my points per second. Click to upgrade. All right, cost is... Cost is always 12? Oh, seriously? This is this is gonna get out of hand quickly. Oh man! Okay, I'm playing the game. <laughs> I'm playing the clicker game instead of hacking the clicker game. How much? This one costs 130. All right. Yeah. This is this. There's no scaling. I actually play the clicker, some clicker games, occasionally, and this is this is an interesting thing in that it like it doesn't. Cost is 2600 Okay, you can get a few more you. Just buy it. Buy them. There we go. Now I can't even keep up with it. This adds 200 Yeah, okay. So that's just what this... You go through these. This is not a very creative. If that's... It's just kind of linear that you just... You just keep waiting. Anyway, let's uh, let's probe. Okay, God, I got I got caught up in the clicker game there. Jeez. Um. Okay. Oh, there's. That's right. I was gonna do. I got a new program off that asset cache hex clock. What does this do? Interesting. And now everything is a different color. It changed my color. Hex clock. Huh. Why am I all purpley now? Oh. It changed again. Is that does it do that on What? It's like in some weird way I have no idea what it's doing. It's like the color of my interface is changing based upon that. Okay. Well, let's kill that because I don't need that happening all over the place. <laughs> Stuff flashing at me. Weird, but fun. Uh, so all we do is 22. And what? I have the FTP, right? FTP bounce 21. There we go. I got enough memory to run them both. Great, got that one. Oh, get ready. Uh, port hack. That's it. Why is point clicker so much more secure than other <laughs> places? All right, port hack. Very nice. Yeah, password found. Okay, so here we go. File system. Cool. Uh, home IRC logs here. More IRC logs on this one? 
<laughs> That's really great, Curly Girl. Thank you for listening to me. You know, you're a really good listener. Sweetie, please say something. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Been nothing, sis. Net config. Oh. Uh, OS config. These are all binary. Default boot modules. Point clicker. Important readme don't crash. Never delete or rename config that I and I. some critical. Removing it causes instant crash. Do not test this. <laughs> But, but, also apparently binary. All right, saves. Uh, so we were looking for Minsk. What do these look like anyway? Hmm. Co. Whitewash. Interesting names. Jojo, Sal. Uh, Minsk. Pretty nice there, Minsk. Pretty nice. All right. Anyway, remove it. Boom. Gone. All right. Um, Bit. Oh, man. Bit. Bit had an account. <laughs> Poor Bit. Better than you. Yeah, right. That's weird the way the numbers are set up. So if I, wait, am I on here? I am. Oh, sweet, Benmo, okay. Huh, okay, yeah, look at that. Um. So can I totally cheat, please? <laughs> I think it was help to Yes, it talks about replace here. Replace file name, target string with replacement string. So if I were to say replace Ben Wo uh, 572 with lots and lots of nines. Hit enter. There, what would I, would you say I'd have like a lot of points? <laughs> um. Let's see how you are the administrator. Great. Okay. Uh, point clicker. Go. Oh, why can't I go? Hmm. Well, bummer. I don't get that. Oh, scan network. Let's do that. Nothing. Darn you guys. Well, all right. I don't know. Um, let's go back, log, move everything. Oh, and I was also thinking about, uh, after I finished playing that last episode about the IP addresses, that um, there should be a way in order to, you know, protect myself, that, like, if I say go to the bitwise test, because this one's, I know it's very safe. I, I do shell. Now, from here... Let's see if I do a connect sub version.com. Can I find computer? It's not version.com. All right. Uh, God, I can't read that IP address. Okay. 126.66.49. 10. Okay. Okay, so I'm in, I am in the shell now, or? Connection established, aha. Okay, so, so now I'm connected to the subversion. Okay, so if I do, no, okay, see, that's still, that's wrong. Like I, I should be connect, I wanna connect from within the shell. That would be, I don't want it to report my home IP address here. I don't know. So I guess that's what I was thinking about. Like that, I didn't double check that before. I didn't remember it working. So let's close down that shell and let's go down here. Get rid of that stuff. And then we will go back to, oh, the email. That's what we want to do. Point clicker. 
Uh, the glory of my achievement before resetting. Yes, I observed the glory of your achievement, sir. It was glorious. Apply, send. Contract successful. Excellent. Congratulations, the client of your recent contract has reported a success and is pleased with your work. You are now free to accept further contracts from the contract database. Your current ranking is 80 of 100. Oh, cool. So I passed up 20 people by doing that? Nice, nice. Okay, what if I reply? Let's do that. No, nothing? Nothing. Nothing to give me. All right, so I guess we got to go back to the contract database. Here we are. Um, and let's see here. XC project. That's is that a new one? I don't know. The famous counter hack. Let's read about it. We recently got news of a company hiring less well-meaning hackers to retrieve some sensitive data from a rival corporation for exploitative purposes. In the interest of dissuading companies from using the hacker community in such ways in the future, we're going to ensure their transaction doesn't go smoothly. Ooh, this sounds interesting. What do I do? Famous contract. Okay, the company PP Marketing recently hired a freelance hacker to break into a rival company service to retrieve some sensitive data, which we believe to be a mailing list. Oh, got notifications coming. Delete it on their end and transfer it to the hiring group. Okay, pardon me a moment there. That was very odd. My screen just decided to minimize on me. Um, okay, so I want to delete it on there and then transfer it to the hiring group. Okay, naturally sort of corporate espionage is exactly the sort of business that gives hacker groups their bad reputation. And while we're not really even interested in policing this in its entirety, the blatant Advertising of the job across the net makes this one a little more public, so we'd like to ensure it doesn't pay off for PP. Heh, <laughs> PP. We don't exactly don't know exactly what the file's called, so you might have to do a little digging once you're in there. You're looking for a stolen mail list. It might be archived or encrypted. We should also know that the company may be prepared for this eventuality and might have some security countermeasures in place. Ooh. I don't know how to handle countermeasures. Huh? Okay. I guess there's nothing to do but to give it a shot. Right? Um, let's just pop over here. And I feel like... Let me get some shells started. I probably will need them. Let's do there, there. Um, so I do it from Slashbot. That would be kind of nice. Oh, point clicker. That's a good one. Do that. Do three. All right, that should be fine. Okay, come over here. Probe the system. Proxy detected. All right. Need two ports open. Okay, so I'm going to put... I think I'm going to put these all into trap mode once... Oh, God. Uh, okay, what's... Okay, seriously. Overload. 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 Okay, we've got a trace coming. <laughs> oh, it's really, really slow, though. So that's that's nice. Okay, uh, FTP bounce. SSH crack. Get this running. I'm really curious as to what happens when this trace ends, but I don't think I'm going to come near to that. Come on, FTP. Port hack it up. So I think I'm the administrator. Great. Um, okay, so I'm looking for a mailing list. Workspace. Oh, God. Secure mail list. Um, okay. Mail list at info. This is the mail list we got from the hacker. Her charge through the nose, by the way. Turns out there's some sort of encryption on it. What do we even pay the guy for anyway? HR is saying they'll get someone else to try and decrypt it or whatever will make it usable. But according to the first guy, it's the right size, so it's got to be the right data if we can break into it. What a disaster. Well, at least we got something out of it, even if we can't use it yet. Okay, we know what we're going to gonna bring up these traps. 
This is nerve wracking, man. This is not, I don't like this pressure. Uh, so they're gonna scan in Kevin Winters. James Wilson, wait a minute. That sounds familiar. So we got all kinds of stuff here. All right, anyway, induction, dress code. All right, so. Ah, did that work? I saw the, the color change. I don't know what the colors mean. <laughs> um, okay. So what, I download the mail list. Let's grab that. Okay, two folder home, fine. Transfer complete, great. Um, so then we wanna remove the mail list. Get rid of that. Okay, yep, they're getting closer. I see it, I see it. Nothing interesting there, nothing interesting there. All my logs are there. Okay, documents. Ah, oh, there are files missing. Brandon used off the charts, but there are no logs. The firewall is down. Not yet, shit, what? RDP to the mail server is down. Going to the server room to check it out. BRB, okay. Package and everything up and sending it through. I'll store it offsite and we can retrieve it later. This is total BS, by the way. I can't believe they go through our security. Months of emails gone. I bet Letterman is going to be pissed about this. Weinstein is probably going to flip his lid. Make sure you don't get fired too. Talk to you later. Memo that was circulated this morning. I have to work overtime and not get paid for it. Doesn't surprise me. Seriously, I know this is a startup operation, but they need to start treating us better. Sorry, I'm reading so fast. Oh my God. <laughs> Took a huge pay cut. Um, all right. Mildly interesting here. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, okay, so I don't understand how I'm supposed to send this. Um, oh my god, those dress codes, dress codes are insane. Jane Hall Halliday. Complaint procedures. Okay. Yeah, none of that's looking very interesting at all. So, I'm gonna clear these logs out. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I really wanted to connect from a different IP address here. <laughs> um, and then we'll disconnect. Yeah, and the trace stops running. Okay, great. Go over here, remove all the logs. Um, no command exit. Can I, oops, uh, can I remove the logs and keep the shells running? <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, this episode's getting super long. I just gotta wrap this up. Um, thanks everybody for watching. I'm gonna disconnect off of there and close down these things. There we go, those are all down. Go back to me and I gotta check my email. But uh, I'll say that for next time. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you're enjoying HackNet as much as I am. Oh, that was kind of exhilarating having that trace running. I'm gonna probably have to jump back in there and check out uh, how to decrypt that file. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next episode.